I always try to feed on these guys to get um, some blood in the odious chalice after the Ming fight. I do like to go around this way, and for this character who is a glass cannon, I'm going to go around this way because it's a little bit safer. Although with Dominate, it's, you know, pretty academic. Guess if I had level 5 Dominate, you could take all the, the guards out, but it's not really necessary we can sneak by all of them although in the basic patch you can feed on them so i guess the min max way to do it would be to take three of them out with dominate three and then feed on the last one to put some more blood in the odious chalice but i'm just going to sneak around them Yeah, there really is no reason at all to buy AUG ammo before this quest, because you, you get a ton of it. And especially the, the last guard who is uh, being dominated by LaCroix, I think he has 250 rounds on him. And then, of course, there's the big resupply on the last floor. Now, this guy with the baseball hat has more blood than all the other guards, so I want to feed on this guy. These guys with the baseball hat have... You can feed on all of them in the basic patch, but this guy has a just a ton of blood. In the plus patch, you can also feed on these guys. You can't feed on the guys who have helmets. But in the basic patch, you can feed on all of them. Make it this far. I had no tick, tick. Help! Okay, if, if the elevator glitches out, all you have to do is pick up this this uh, AUG that's on the ground. If it gets underneath the elevator, it can glitch out the elevator. And the way you do that is you drop your AUG on the other side of the room, pick this one up, it becomes then your primary AUG, and it's removed from the map underneath the elevator, and the elevator will work fine. So I've had that happen before. A, an AUG, if it falls underneath of the elevator, uh, it can bug it out or the or the elevator won't work properly Okay, that time the door came back toward me and it hit me so it didn't hit me. Okay blood shield is probably a good idea I'm going to go ahead and put Blood Shield on.
Okay, I don't want to kill the guard. I need him to go back into the room and relax. Because I want to feed on him later. Yeah, and I should be using the Uzi too, because, uh, or the Lassiter Killmatic. Because I have obviously a lot of ammo for that too. Yeah, should I have waited? Yeah, I should have waited. No, well, maybe not. Maybe... Yeah, it's pretty close. And I'm, I'm fine for blood. I have a ton of blood. Once again, I don't use a single blue blood pack in the whole playthrough. So I have 10 of those on board. And, um... Yeah, there's one more fight, and I'm not even going to use the 300 rounds I have now. And, of course, I'm going to use the Uzi, probably, primarily. And the Flamethrower, which has three canisters, and so we're, you know. Then there's the 50 cal pistol as backup. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. How did I do? Oh, 50 cal. Could have used some of that up. And Lassiter Killmatic, I should have used some of that up. So, not too bad. And I'm down one unit of blood, which is fine. Oh, and these guys already came out. If you initiate the fight, if you don't stealth kill them, you initiate a fight, they, they come out. So they're already dead. So... Yeah, very nice. Nice uh, meeting room. I like it. Take a moment and just enjoy it. Yeah, the 50 cal is the best weapon for the first fight because it does the largest amount of burst damage and that's what you want. And this is the light you want to turn on first because he's mo most likely to uh, run into it. These guys kind of surprise me. They're here pretty quickly. So I could use Auspex on and I need the flamethrower. I just like to hit these guys with the flamethrower. They, they actually do a lot of damage, these two guys. Um, the, the two little helpers. Yeah, two for one, and fire is the best weapon against vampires. Yeah, that's what you want them to do. You want them to bounce into the light. Now, I desperately want to hit someone with possession. Because I haven't used it. We're... No, I just wanted to hit somebody one time with possession. But that's how it goes. Totally unused uh, ability. Because there were so many things that were better. So, possession. Didn't use it. Blood boil. I liked it. It was pretty good. It's kind of like a... You know, if you have ranged of 10 in all specs... It's, 
so like it's okay I didn't play wits um, that gave me 16 XP the last point in wits there were a whole bunch of ways to get the last point of dominate which I probably never would have used sit $3,600 in cash at the end is ridiculous I didn't use any of these blood packs in the um, final battle all of the weapons I have tons of ammo. I, I didn't buy the as much ammo in this game as I have in previous games. You you betrayed me. <laughs> I said give me the key. I need the key. Your powers are considerable for one so young. You will be a great asset in the years to come, and the sarcophagus will reside safely in the hands of the Camarilla. I told you before that there are some powers in this world that are best left undisturbed. I don't know what lies in the sarcophagus, and I believe that it may be in our best interests not to find out if these be the final nights of our existence. I do not rush to bring about Gehenna any sooner than it need come. Let the shadows of time cover this dark treasure, so that eventually it fades even from our memories. Some things are best forgotten, Neonate. Some things are best forgotten. Ah, and the wonderful Lacuna Coil music to end the game. Absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, these three playthroughs I did of the basic patch. The basic patch is worth playing. The disciplines are different. In the case of Dominate, I think it is far more interesting. And I think the Dominate is the way that the developers wanted it to be, which is slightly overpowered. And it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to play, the basic patch, and it's a lot of fun to see what the developers intended when they released the game. I think it's different than the plus patch, and I think it's different enough that it's worth playing, and I hope you give it a try. So I've done three complete playthroughs with the basic patch. I'm going to move on now to the plus patch and do a few more playthroughs of that. I have lost count of the number of playthroughs. Uh, that I've posted on YouTube. It is a bunch of them going back to 2014. And I want to do some more because who doesn't love this game? Um, it's so addicting. And there's, you know, even after 100 games, I'm still finding new things in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the views and thumbs up and likes that I get. Those of you who've left comments, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I learn as much from you as you learn from me and thank you for your insights and your comments and your uh, your kind comments of support and enthusiasm for more playthroughs it, it's that that encourages content creators to keep making videos so thank you and I will see you next time